My general impression about Edicon is it's a great place for networking in terms of engineering education. I've been here before in uh, f uh, previous uh, edu education meetings, but this is clearly the key point what you can find in Europe. IEEE, it's a great organization, and by having it in Europe, it happens, happens to be the great joining point for all the community. So it's fundamental. We need to adapt uh, the new education methods, techniques to the new kind of audience. We are receiving Generation Z uh, students and we need to adapt for them and this is a, a must. It's not inconvenience. <laughs> E-learning is probably one of uh, the greatest developments of education from this millennium. Uh, and it's the ability for people to move forward uh, in terms of having their own rhythm on education. We no longer need a model which arrived from the uh, second uh, wave, the industrial revolution, in terms of educating our students. We need a new approach and e-learning is a great big part of it. Well, uh, every time you, uh, you make changes, there are people who are afraid of change. It's a, it's a natural human aspect. So you need to make sure that you approach it the correct way. Of course, there are some people who are not going to be the first uh, approaches into this method, but I do believe that uh, with time, everyone will be involved. Not, not any longer. Now, the classroom no longer exists as a unit. Uh, the old world is our classroom. We can nowadays teach and learn anywhere. We can teach in the beach, in a beautiful place like Tenerife. It's definitely uh, a great place to have your education method. So, the, the tools are available. All the kids nowadays have a, a mobile phone. All of them are available and digitally connected. So, that's all we need. We change the paradigm, we change the focus. Nowadays, it's not more about teaching, it's more about learning. So that means that in the new paradigm of learning, it's not important how the teacher teach, it's important how the students learn. Uh, in the new paradigm, actually, you might not even need human teachers. Artificial intelligence is now moving a lot in terms that we might have uh, artificial intelligent uh, teachers in order to support our uh, future developments. Okay, so I'm an electrical engineer. Uh, currently, I'm a bureaucrat. I'm the pro president of uh, Instituto Politecnico de Porto, so Porto Polytechnic, and therefore I don't really teach that much. But I always, always tend to go to, ma to those magistral classes where I can have the ability to teach more in terms of the new developments that we can approach. I'm an electrical engineer, so we focus a lot in sustainability, but also in sustainable development goals, which are the UN new approach for a better millennium. This connective education, the field of engineering, what are the new developments? Well, basically, the, the new developments were the ability to a very, uh, well, in an affordable way to be able to use tools to produce tools and to produce other equipments. Not, I'm not just talking about 3D printers and, uh, and cutters and uh, 3D cutters. I'm talking about all the, the tools that are now low cost available to everyone to produce new tools and to produce new ideas and to produce new schematics and even bigger things. Nowadays you can 3D print a house, for instance. I'm, I'm using the way that nowadays you can use tools to produce tools. You don't no longer need to go into a process where you get to, go, you get, to get uh, some new uh, materials and then new tools to produce something. You can recycle everything and you can use new approaches which uses those recyclable into uh, new solutions.